What's the sexiest outfit in the world? Yes, white t-shirt and jeans combo. But do you have your ideal white t-shirt? Do you know which brand makes perfect and affordable denim jeans? In this video, I'll try on basic white t-shirts and baggy jeans from the most popular brands on haul in the United States. Uniqlo, Zara, Shane, Temu, and Amazon to create a sexy outfit. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, my name is Elena Delgadillo and if you're tired of endlessly browsing online store, unsure of the quality and the fit, worry no more, I've done the hard work for you, so you can sit back, relax and enjoy this comprehensive comparison. I've selected t-shirts and jeans from five popular online market brands, Uniqlo, Zara, Shane, Temu and Amazon. I'll be trying on each t-shirt and jeans and giving you my thoughts on the quality of the material, the fit and the overall style. Let's start from Shane. I had a bad experience with Shane, but I gave it another try for this video and you guys. The interface of the app could be more user-friendly for those who want to see the fabric immediately, for example. So I can only now see what the fabric on this t-shirt that I'm wearing is. And I just checked and it's polyester. Jeans, high-waisted wide leg jeans, $24.99 with no tax. Shipping actually was free. If you're willing to return, it's easy to do so. In total with t-shirt and jeans, I paid $34.46. I'm wearing size medium jeans. I want to mention that every brand has its own size segments. So if you're a size small, for example, in Zara, but medium in chain, it doesn't mean that you gain weight or whatever. It just means each brand size runs differently. Please share with me in the comments if not fitting into your usual size worries you. Zara, the t-shirt is a basic straight fit. For the price, $10.90. It's a good quality, it's 100% cotton, and it's a very welcome price. Do you think it's worth it? Let me know in the comments. This shirt can be styled in so many ways because of its basic fit. You can make it look cropped by tightening it up, wearing it over any sleep dress, tuck it in. But if you order this t-shirt in a bigger size, you can make even more sophisticated outfits and play around with that. I feel like Zara is totally killing it in the jeans market. Stylish with good quality and different color variations. And I feel like the quality of Zara, because I'm trying to stretch it right now, is really good. But I still that vintage Levi's jeans are the best. I'll show you a pair I have in my collection and you will judge it too. Regarding quality, Zara jeans are 100% cotton, have a nice fit and the versatility is good enough to wear for a few seasons. If you order more than $50, you'll have free shipping. The shipping is fast, but I can compare it with the Amazon service that I will share next. If you're willing to return items, you'll be charged $3.99. Let me know in the comments if you're already a fan of Zara. I honestly love how fast Zara reacts to new trends and offer so many options for different occasions, styles, and budgets. Amazon, Amazon. Well, I ordered, let's say, yesterday, and I received all the items already today. Amazon is the monster at fast shipping at a cheap cost. But I have a question about the quality. I am wearing t-shirt and jeans from Amazon. Price is the best, no questions. The fabric of the t-shirt is 100% cotton. I like the fit, it feels lovely on the skin, but I had a hard time steaming it. So it still has some wrinkles. So don't judge me, judge Amazon. I can't wait till the end of this video to put everything in the washing machine and see how everything looks after. So wait till the end to judge the final results. Jeans for $36.89. If you're lucky, you can thrift Levi's for 20 bucks, but you have to be lucky or go to the markets with me so I can help you to find the best unique deals. Follow me on Instagram where I share the schedule for my vintage squad shopping. But let's see what Amazon offers. These jeans are 78% cotton. The rest of them are viscose and elastin. So it's not necessary to buy expensive stuff to have an expensive look. It has to be 
good quality stuff, but not always expensive. So these jeans, look at me, if I put legs together, there is something happening around this area and I can't explain what is it, but it doesn't look good. So the fit, even if it's my size, it doesn't fit well. And my style tip is to choose 100% cotton jeans or at least 98%, because when it has elastin or such, the fabric looks like it has poor quality. And these jeans has poor quality. Uniqlo. And before I start talking about fit and quality, attention! The t-shirt smelled disgusting when I opened the Uniqlo box. I can't even describe the smell. Just gross. As someone died in it. I still can't smell it. I mean, I just wait till we finish with this t-shirt. But in general, I'm surprised how popular Uniqlo is in the United States. Some of their basic clothes are selling very fast. And Uniqlo is famous for its basic quality clothes. As I mentioned earlier about different size ranges, for different brands, Uniqlo is based on your height. For example, I can wear my typical size small in Uniqlo because I'm tall. So it will be more likely size large for me, for bottoms and I'm 5'9". And also Uniqlo usually runs small, so not true to size. These jeans, this fit is true to size. So maybe I consider to wear a smaller size of these jeans. For a basic cotton t-shirt, I paid $19.90. For jeans, I paid $39.90. I could choose the length for the jeans and I did. This is a very good option for those who are tall. The jeans are 100% cotton, which is good, but it also means they will not stretch. So you choose again the right size that fits you well and you feel comfortable in it. A t-shirt is $19.99 and has different color variations and it's 100% cotton, but again, smell is horrible. I mean, I'm a big fan of Uniqlo basic stuff, especially of their socks, but right now smelling this disgusting smell, I can't think that now is my favorite one. So as I said, the jeans runs true to size, it's good fit right now and I really liked it and this model has different color variations but hurry up, it's almost sold out. This jeans runs true to size but look what's happening here, something is going on and I know I would assume wearing smaller size but I don't think that size should matter when you have something around here. So if you have it already here, maybe this model is just doesn't fit your figure. And that's okay. Temo. The price is dramatically low. For the t-shirt, I paid $6.69. And for the jeans, $8.79. And the shipping is free. And this is cheap in comparison with other brands that we went through today. But I'm not in Temo. Because Temo hasn't been delivered yet and I ordered it two weeks ago. That's super long shipping. So be aware in case you need something ASAP that Temo delivery is long. Look at this vintage Levi's 501. I personally love these jeans most of all. What do you think about them? Do you have any vintage jeans in your closet? Please share in comments. And it's time for a physical experiment. Let's wash our t-shirts and see how they come out. We're putting everything into the washing machine to try this shirt on their quality. And we will see if after wash they will lose their fit or color or something else or lining. And I'm not putting detergent just to see if Uniqlo shirt still gonna smell like very bad. Finally, I just finished washing all t-shirts and dried them too. I don't really recommend to dry it, but anyway, we did it to make it faster and I know most of people do it, so I did it too, just to see how it works and how our t-shirts 
could hold it. So first one, we start from shade because we started from it. And as a polyester, it's actually, I didn't put it really in the dryer because it dried really fast. So maybe if you are willing to go for a hike, maybe it's a good option, a white t-shirt, because it's going to suck all your sweat and it's not going to be wet. But again, about breathability, your skin is not going to breathe. And let's see if the shape changed by measurement. So Shane, before washing in width was 22 and 5 inches and on length 27 6 something like that so let's see if anything changed in width is 22 and a half and in length is 27 and a half nothing changed maybe you should go for polyester then <laughs> or shane <laughs> next one zara i really have a lot of hopes for zara because i mean it's almost 11 bucks and i most likely will leave it with me today i'm not gonna return it but let's see before we wash this t-shirt from zara it was 21 inches in width so right now after 20 is that even possible <laughs> no seriously could it change it's like one inch change okay guys if you experienced anything like that when after you wash zara t-shirt became smaller please let me know in comments i have to create a statistics actually or either one you just don't dry your t-shirt in a dryer that's another option you have to check and a length before washing it was 24 so right now da -da -da -da. no uh, i can't believe it <laughs> 23 everything changed for you for an inch it's even like a little bit less than 23 inch no seriously guys i think we can put this thing out we have a proof it was 24 so right now it's 22 and a half so inch and a half guys <gasps> crazy i mean i had an experience with zara viscose once i washed the set in the washing machine i didn't dry it i hang it and it became like three sizes smaller. And when I texted for their custom service, they said that we can't do anything. You probably washed it wrong. So make your conclusions about customer service. So next one is from Amazon. Let's see. Before we washed it, it was 20 and a half. Let's see how it's now. No. -uh. It's like 19 and a half, guys, for real. I have a proof. 19 and a half, one inch less. And on the length, it was 25 inches. And now let's see. 24. It was hard for me to put on the floor and to make it straight, what do you call it here? Waistline? It's actually kind of changed the shape. So it's not like straight here, so I can see the lining here. So I can't put like all those linings on the side of the body. It's like either I put one lining here, others comes here as well. So it's kind of like screwed by the washing or maybe dryer too. So get okay, last one, the smelly, the stinky one. Guess Uniqlo. And I didn't put detergent just to see if this smell can, we can remove and we removed it it doesn't smell that gross anymore and before we washed uniqlo i was 18 and a half in width so right now it's 17 and a half okay here's definitely a statistic after you washed and dry your t-shirts it became one each smaller it was 23 and a half on length and da -da -da -da. okay guys there is something happens 23 so half an inch half an inch but still became smaller so imagine you're gonna wash and dry the t-shirts few times and then it becomes so small so don't consider that you gain weight consider you washed your t-shirts wrong or maybe you got a wrong t-shirt and the winner of not losing shape and the quality and the size who? Shane. Crazy. One inch. One inch each t-shirt. So my favorite so far in quality and fit is Zara. In price is Temu that I haven't received yet for about two weeks. I'm waiting 
for them. Shane is good price, but bad quality. Polyester, 100%. Share your thoughts on your favorites. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so we can meet again next time.